you're in charge of its operation. I understand 204 of the Oklahoma National Guard are currently involved in this. What can you tell me? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we're in uh, in support of the first responders uh, who uh, initially uh, came on the scene uh, during the tornado. And, uh, you know, the, the role of the Guard is to support those first responders. And those guys all, and ladies always do a great job. And, and uh, it's, uh, they, they need help and they need assistance. And uh, wherever we can provide that, we will. And in, in terms of the scale of what has happened here, we're getting more and more disturbing reports about the damage to, uh, to human life, to property and so on. What do you think from your assessment? Well, the, the devastation is just indescribable. Uh, you know, uh, and obviously the, the loss of life is heartbreaking, and especially with the kids. Uh, but in order to gain a perspective of, you know, uh, what's been done here and what uh, what this tornado uh, tore down, you have to have a perspective first of what it was. And I'm not sure that uh, anybody who, who hadn't seen it before could really describe, you know, the devastation. And it's just a it's a it's just literal devastation. And uh, and uh, but this is where Oklahomans come together. You know, Governor Fallon and and Albert Ashwood are, are in our Department of Emergency Management uh, did not hesitate to to de declare a state of emergency. And and the first responders were on the scene just instantaneously. And uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just a recovery effort now and it's going to take uh, not just days, but it'll take uh, weeks and months to uh, to work our way through this. But as Oklahomans, uh, uh, the heart is there and they'll they'll recover from this and they'll move on and and we'll write another chapter in our